part two, we'll go over how the vest, the axe, and legs are constructed. First, the legs. Um, these are made with some uh, fake fur that I purchased from um, a thrift store. They uh, got some foam on the inside. They got some lycra type stirrup pants. Um, the way the foam is set up on the inside is I got a little bit on the back of my calf. Kind of get this little hitch out of the leg. A small piece in front of the right below my kneecap. And then another piece on the thigh. Let's get into how I made these. The base of the legs are stirrup pants. Find some made of lycra or uh, some other stretchy material. Ones uh, made of cotton will be too hot. Think of stretchy running pants that have stirrups on the bottom that hook around your feet. Get some that are form fitting and not too loose. Uh, try to find a pair with a drawstring in the waist. I found that I needed a drawstring to help keep the uh, legs from sliding down. These will help keep the foam in position, plus you will thank me later when you're trying to take the legs off. Next, you're going to need some foam. A piece that is 24 by 24 by 5 inches should be enough. Um, you can buy the foam from your local fabric store or order it online. I used a uh, bread knife to cut and shape the foam. You could use uh, an insulation knife. They seem to work pretty well. I have added a link in the description of a tutorial on cutting foam with a bread knife. The main thing in cutting foam is patience and cutting with small strokes to get the desired shape. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it needs to be close. To join the foam to the stirrup pants, I used automotive fabric adhesive. You need a good fabric adhesive to join the foam to the stirrup pants. The fur I used was purchased from a local fabric store. I don't have a lot of experience sewing, so I got three yards in case I needed to start over. I looked online for the fur, but I couldn't get a good sense of the look and feel, so going to the store in person was a big help. I used a sewing machine to stitch it all together. I used a straight stitch, which is the most basic stitch pattern. Here are a few images of fitting the foam onto the legs after shaping them. Before gluing the foam to the stirrup pants with the automotive adhesive, be sure to add either a paper towel or a cloth between your leg and the stirrup pants because the glue will seep through the stirrup pants and stick to your leg. So the way that I sewed these, you're gonna need uh, someone to help you unless you have like a mannequin or something to put these legs on. Um, so what we did or what I did was I put the foam and the lycra pants on, you kind of see that, and then I took the, the fur in two pieces, <clears throat> I just kind of followed the profile of the leg and used pins you know, all the way down, all the way down, to kind of, you know, with the shape of the leg, and you did this inside out. So fabric needs to be inside out. You pin it all the way down, you follow the profile of the leg, you take it out, and then you sew on the inside the two pieces together with a straight stitch. And what that'll do, you kind of see if I pull this apart, this is the stitch line all the way up the center. And I did each individual leg, and then sewed the crotch in, uh, two pieces, added a belt that helps out and then there's a drawstring in the inside of the uh, stirrup pants that we got <clears throat> so both of these help keep these pants up because they, they will slide down the last thing that you want to do is add pieces of velcro on the inside you kind of see I've sewed that down on the inside and what that's going to do is when we put the boots on, there's the other piece of Velcro there. So when I put the boots on, the Velcro will actually stick. Do that real quick. Back out here. The Velcro <clears throat> on the inside of the pants 
stick to the hooks. Just like that. So now they're kind of together. So that's how the legs were made. Now let's look at the axe. The axe is actually two axes uh, that I've kind of combined into one. I was looking for, for kind of like a double bladed axe that was kind of over the top, kind of larger than life, if you will. Um, all the double bladed axes I found were small and kind of dinky. Um, the leather that's on the handle and up here at the top, and this kind of hides some of the construction that we'll get into a little bit later. But this leather is actually from the jacket that I purchased, the sleeves. I cut the uh, pieces of leather into half inch strips, glued them together end to end to make one long strip and use that to wrap it. The end is actually, this fennel is actually a piece of wood that I carved and painted to look like metal. The top is the same. The reason I did that is because you know, you're constantly putting this down, hitting it on things and this axe is made of foam so you needed something that's going to kind of protect the ends um, other than that I uh, added some paint here and um, we'll get into that in the construction so let's take a look at how I made it as mentioned before I purchased two identical axes and uh, wanted to join them together um, so I looked for a place between the two axe heads to see where I could cut them and join them together. Luckily, the uh, axe heads had these plastic dowel rods embedded in them, so this gave me a perfect structural connection. Once the axe heads were fitting together pretty well, I glued them together with the uh, E6000 glue. After I glued the axe heads together, I then painted the handle brown and added the wooden fennel to the end and the cap on the top. Next, I used the leather straps that I made from the vest sleeves to wrap the handle and axe head. Lastly, I painted the fennel and top cap to match the blade color of the axe and added a wrist strap. Alright, let's have a look at the vest. So the vest was actually uh, pretty easy. I went to a thrift store and purchased a, a leather jacket that was suitable for my needs. I believe that this was a women's jacket at the time. I cut the sleeves off, cut the collar off that was up here. Um, on the sides, I opened these up to tighten the vest around my waist, kind of fit that to myself. And I used some grommets and uh, leather shoestring to kind of tie it all back together. Cut some holes all along the sleeves and kind of wrapped the same uh, leather shoestring around. Used a uh, brown sharpie to kind of put these uh, tribal decorative elements on there and uh, added my own decorative buttons and um, let's get the back same kind of tribal uh, decorative element on the back you can kind of go online and find some of these and print them out cut, cut out a stencil and kind of trace them on if you're not good at drawing them by hand In the next video, we'll go over how I made the horns and headdress.